We are hooked on, loaded up, and ready to go. Herky cannot wait to get in that van. It's been a few months since we've been on the road, so we're pretty excited Herky about it. and I have not rode in the van since February. It's been a while. So, hey, we got everything all hooked up and ready to go. I want to show you something really quick. Hang on. Look what I got going on here in the garage. I got some baby chicks started here in the in the garage underneath the heat lamp. So we're going to leave these in the care of our grandchildren. They're going to stop by and take a look at them every day, make sure they're all right. But I just want to show you really quick, getting a second start here on our chicken ranch. So. Ready, Dad. He's any spot. Look at him. Are you ready to go, Herky? Do you want to go? No, not get out. Okay, so we're all uh, we're all packed up and ready to go. Um, we're just kind of hanging out here a minute because we just uploaded our midweek chat, and so we got to wait just a second for it well, so we can use the Wi-Fi here at the house. But as soon as that's done, we'll be on the road. We got our drinks. Hey, take a look at the inside of the van. Got the camera bag, the refrigerators. Everything's ready to go. I think we're gonna be gone for almost a week, so. Yes, we get back good. next Monday night or Tuesday. So, so we, we got plenty of, plenty of stuff packed up. We don't plan on eating out. We plan on eating out of what we got packed in the van, so. We have enough. <laughs> Alrighty, follow us today as we make our way down to uh, Gun Creek Campground down there on Wren Lake. Hopefully it's warm. I hope so, it's cold right now. We just entered into Illinois and we're stopped at a rest area to get rid of our trash that we've accumulated so and far. And stretch our legs a little bit. And potty break. And Herky, do you need to go potty? Huh? Oh, he's ready. Uh -oh. He just wants Don't to get jump. out of the way. Don't jump. <laughs> so anyway, we are getting ready to get off this highway, which I'm pretty excited about. We got something to show you here in just a few miles, but we're, I'm going to do a quick uh, check of the camper. Nancy's is going to take Herky for a little spin and then we'll get back in the van and get down the road a few miles. Got a little bit of an experiment going on. If you can notice the top of the runaway, we took that car top carrier. We've been having that car top carrier on there for maybe two years, at least a year and a half. And we drug it all through Alaska. And I know that that thing cost me some gas mileage and half the time we don't even have anything in it. We just have it there in case we need something in it. So anyway, I took it off for this trip to get us uh, a feel for how much it actually cost me to leave it on there. Uh, I'm gonna drive down to this uh, rally and back and do the calculations and decide if that's something I'm gonna leave on the okay, runway. Okay, this is it. Do you remember a few years ago, we did a whole video of the little town of Casey, Illinois. So today, but it was like winter, right? It was December. We were on our way to Ed's mom's for Christmas. Anyway, so here we are today on our way to Mississippi and the sun is shining and we're gonna walk around and show you what this looks like in sunshine. So right behind me is the world's largest teeter-totter. So in this town, they have, a, Okay, so the slogan is small town, big things, I think is the slogan. Um, so they have big things, and then they have world record holders. So the teeter-totter is a world record holder, the rocking chairs in the Guinness World Book of Records, the wind chime, all that. But then they have a lot of things that are just big stuff uh, that I don't think are world record holders, but they're pretty interesting anyway. So I'm going to catch up with the Nancy and Herky and... We're gonna go on the teeter-totter. Now on Saturdays, they have this thing actually functional because they have somebody there manning the station, but uh, today it's just in one position, but it's still pretty cool anyway. Pretty high and it's wobbly they tell you at the bottom don't jump and I don't plan on it but anyway 
I think it would be kind of cold to be up here when it started to teeter-totter. It's always been locked down. Well, always. The other time and this time. Anyway, across the way is the big rocking chair. And then we have the chimes behind us. So that's where we're headed now. But look at this view down to the bottom. mentioned there is the world's largest wind chime just a little bit of geography here so we are on 40 the national road so actually 40 was one of the first roads across the nation back in the day uh, it's an interesting study if you ever get a chance to read about it um, but Casey is just probably about a half hour from the Indiana Illinois border on 40 so if you get off the interstate and you come down 40 you can't miss it so we got the wind chime behind us and uh, over there was the teeter-totter and there is the world's largest rocking chair Look, I can come in and out of the kids' entrance when I look around. Ready then, I'm gonna sit here and relax a minute. And then uh, we're right here by the waterfall and the bridge. And I couldn't talk when we were in there with the big shoes because they had music playing in there. But um, as you've seen in there, they've got uh, like a wishing bucket there where you can throw some money in the shoes and all the money goes, the proceeds go towards the local food pantry in Casey. Uh, very relaxing time, good time to, to sit back and relax and enjoy the weather today. Everything is maintained meticulously and I noticed they've got a lot of volunteers here working and everybody's very friendly because they built all this so that you could have uh, so to attract tourists. So. Uh, anybody that comes to town is very welcomed. Uh, uh, they've got an army of people that just stand around and just talk to people. So uh, it's a very inviting place. I hope, uh, I hope uh, to make this part of our regular stop as we head down 40 uh, from time to time. I'm just a swing on. Wasn't that a song? Anyway. Perky and I are in the bird cage, and the bird cage has a swing because all bird cages have a swing for the bird. We're just looking out for cats. Uh oh, we're getting closed in, Herc. Dad, no! Uh oh. Do <laughs> you like it? I think Herky likes to swing. What do you think? barber pole here in front of the barber shop. I think it's pretty cool. And then as I peek through here, I see a huge taco and a huge key. Uh, as soon as Nancy catches up with me, I'm going to see if she wants to walk over and look at those. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Here in Casey, we just found out on down a side street from Main Street is Firehouse Hot Dogs and Ed Loves Hot Dogs. So they have all kinds of styles. They have what they call the Casey Hot Dog and then you can put as many sides or toppings on it as you want. So anyway, we have our dogs, we have macaroni salad and potato salad and our drinks and we are gonna go find us a place and have a picnic.
All right, so I came in here and ran into Sue. Nancy had a great time in here, so I couldn't be left out. Oh, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it very much. Yes. Glad you tried our hot dogs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've had a great time in Casey, Illinois. It's been a blast. Of course, we've been here before. If you're here, like Nancy said, come in here and see Sue. Sue and Nabila. And get yourself a hot dog. Yes. All beef, quarter oh. pound. Hot All right. All right. I can see them cooking Any back toppings? there. They look, they yes. look pretty good, so. All right. having a picnic in our van because it's nice out but we can't find the table so anyway and look this time they have these and a sticker when we were here last time I went in every shop I know you find that hard to believe but I did looking for a sticker and they're like no we don't have those we don't have those now they do and these books are amazing and they have a map and then they have where you can check off when you've seen what you, the different ones. That's that not on off. our bucket list today, too. No, because we, <clears throat> we do to check ever because we have to get a, get to a destination. Right, it. right, right. But anyway, um, you know it's close enough. We can come back. What an hour away, maybe? Oh, no, a little not bit quite. more, but not too far. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these hot dogs are delicious. Can you see mine? And they gave a Herky one that was overcooked, so he's waiting for it to cool off. And yeah, it was way too hot. So. If you are in Casey, Firehouse hot dogs are a must. They were so nice to us. We had a good time chatting it up with them. So. Yes. All right, I'm going to get back to eating my hot dog. Okay, for hey, that's cold. it for Casey, Illinois. We have to get back on the road. But I would have loved to rock some grandkids in this rocking chair. We could spend another couple hours here oh. probably. We've been here about two Easy. hours. Easy. So we There's a candy shop and an ice cream shop. We didn't get to. Yeah, and a coffee kind of shop. Stuff. Did you see that? Yep. So. Plenty to do. Let's get back on the road and start headed down towards uh, Rend Lake. And uh, we're going to stay on 40 for a little bit here and see where that Yay. takes us. I love off the highway. All right, let's get on the road. You guys aren't wanted for anything, right? No, nope. <laughs> not wanted for anything at all. <laughs> okay, we have made it to Rend Lake. Yay! I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good thing. It's like something goes wrong, you just cut it out and start all over. Yeah, again. you yeah. can edit it. Well, maybe not. Okay. Okay. I'll oh. start. Okay. Okay, we are all set up here at Rend Lake. We are not right on the lake, and we're not right next to Melinda and um, Steve because there's like a parking lot between us. But <laughs> anyway, it's not going to stop us. We're going to walk around, and we're going to check this park out and see what it has to hey, offer. You, you guys know these guys. They oh, are yeah. the dancers that always dance at our <laughs> runaway rally. Yeah, so at the know. homecoming rally. Yes. <laughs> Except so, for this year. No, I missed no, it. it. Well, kinda... but we didn't get up. I mean, it never really... Came never, about. They, yeah, they yeah. couldn't get the yeah. crowd worked up enough. To... <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they but they had their dancing shoes on, we though. <laughs> we were ready. Okay, uh, we're going to walk around and show you the park a little bit. but uh, And the bathrooms. They're oh, kind of clean. Nancy says they're great. So. Yeah. Anyway, we're right on the lake. Hey, let's get... All right, we're hoping this battery holds out uh, as we walk around a little bit. But uh, take a look here. Here's the lake. They got several campsites. So if you got like 77, 76, 78, and 80. Here's Steve and Melinda set up. Oh yeah, yeah, look over there. The Roamer. <laughs> they are the Roamers from Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <We> Iowa <laughs> Roamers. So but let me turn the like camera around thing. and show you yeah. the uh, lake. So very clean bathrooms. They have like the hand blower and then the showers nice and clean for a, you know a camping bathroom so it's not bad and then they have like the bench for handicap to pull down so and I like when the bathrooms are like this because Ed can bring in our buddy heater and warm it up when it's cold so there you go then you have the water spigot down here and then a drinking fountain and look at Ed, shirking on his job. The battery went dead in the camera, so I am doing the videoing. I'm sorry. So if it's shaky, it's me, and it's Ed's fault. <laughs>
<laughs> it's always yeah. its fault. Yeah. yeah. We're just doing the tour of the campground. It's really, it's really nice. We stayed here last year on the way to this rally, and we were at site 80, I think. That one right there. Down there. And so. But what was it in front of? The playground, which is a place <laughs> I never camp next to. <laughs> we like to be on the lake. Yeah. So anyway, what do you guys think about the campground? I think it's, it's a great campground. It's lovely. I'm yeah. I'm happy to be right next to the lake. <laughs> and right next to our your friends. Yes. Well, yeah, <laughs> spaced, I think, pretty well. I yeah. Think they're not right on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, and I got a four pack of root beer, uh -huh. three of which I did not ever have yet, <laughs> thanks to my friend there, Steve. Uh -huh. Curated by Steve. Woohoo! All uh, right, we're going to head on back. Like we're causing a ruckus. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Look at that. Well, this is the other way back to the campsite. Yes, and this leads us back around to our campsite, but I have to watch what I'm doing, so I'm going to set this down. I'm going to turn it off because the roots have come underneath this walk, and there's bubbled up everywhere. See? So, bye. All right. You've seen the bathrooms. You've seen the campgrounds. <laughs> We have, our camera went dead. So Nancy's holding the phone <laughs> and uh, we're using the iPhone. If it's shaky, don't say anything. We've had a really good time just chatting it up with Steve and Melinda. We and, almost forgot to end it like we always do. Continue on. So, hey, behind us is Wren Lake. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's Isn't gorgeous. it gorgeous? And we're having a sunset. I think it's, yeah. it's the clouds, the clouds really right pretty. now. But so. anyway, we got a little bit of it. <laughs> so anyway, we are going to end it here. And uh, we'll see you the next week when we are at the rally. All right. Hey, thanks for watching us. I hope you enjoyed our little trip down in Casey, Illinois and everything. Herky is pulling me into the lake. Because, <laughs> no, dear, there are squirrels back there. Okay. All right. Watch hey, him. bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See and ya. we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye-bye.